I do not know why people feel like once they cross into Kershaw County, it's okay to up the speed. Uh, Lee County's got um, some pretty high speed drivers over there as well coming through, but um, we, we are uh, addressing it more because I have people out there dealing with it. Uh, at one, one, maybe two years ago, two or three years ago, I-20 had the majority of the fatalities in the state, and in, in, in our county. Then we hammered I-20, and then we had like one for the next year. But then we started getting them on the secondary roads. So then we shifted over to the secondary roads, and now they're up on I-20 again. And the majority of them are speed. And then we just had one this past weekend. It was a DUI, felony DUI. The guy stopped his truck in the middle of I-20 in the fast lane in the dark. And uh, he was wasted. And the guy who was sleeping in the bed of the pickup truck was killed when somebody rear-ended him. At probably 70, 75 miles an hour. So uh, why I-20, I have no idea. I guess because it's easy and it's rural and people think they can get away with it. You could probably put a police officer about every five miles and people, as soon as they get past the one, they're gonna speed up until they get to the next one. Uh, it, it's just kind of an overall disregard for the traffic laws because they don't see it as a criminal thing. I'm not really a bad person, I'm a, I'm a good person, I just drive fast. And um, I don't know, the, the courts sometimes cut, I mean, we cut them back, but they even cut, get cut back from what we cut them down to. Um, just kind of a disregard for the law and disregard for other people's welfare as well. It's like, it's my world, everybody else is just passing through and I'm gonna drive like a fool and don't get in my way.